Well, there's a new giraffe in town at the Cameron Park Zoo, and her name is Eleanor. Staff at the zoo is now working to ensure that she'll live a long and healthy, happy life. Six News anchor Adriana Alexander visited the zoo today to learn more about the latest addition. Adriana, everybody's moving to Texas. I know it's amazing. The Cameron Zoo experienced the tragic losses of two giraffes this year to infection and muscle trauma. Still, zoo director Brendan Miller told me his zoo staff is more than ready to continue learning about these exotic animals and welcomes them with open arms. Meet two-year-old Maasai giraffe Eleanor, the newest addition to the Cameron Park Zoo. For us, she really represents kind of the future of our giraffe initiatives here at the Cameron Park Zoo. She came from San Diego about a week ago, and zoo director Brendan Miller says her species is found in Africa. Right now, she's in a 30-day quarantine to prevent sicknesses and diseases coming in and out of the zoo. They're a delicate species, uh, but that's one of the one of the reasons why we want to work with them. The zoo is one of 33 zoos in America, a part of the Exotic Animal Conservation Project. There is currently a plan in place to help giraffes like Eleanor stay alive and healthy. The zoo experienced two mother and daughter giraffe deaths in 2023, but that isn't stopping them from continuing to do the research. There's, there's a lot of information that we still don't know, and you know, there was a good year and a half, two year period centered around COVID where field research really suffered. So we're trying to make sure that uh, we're getting that information that we need to know how to best support the wild populations. As Eleanor settles into the Cameron Park Zoo, their staff plan to keep learning about her and the rest of the giraffes to keep their species alive. We've got a great team of animal care professionals here and um, and they need our help, so we're going to do what we can to help them. Now, Eleanor's personality has been described as friendly, and she's eager to get to know the other zoo animals once her quarantine is over. This is so great for the zoo, Chris, for sure. And I'm sure a bunch of people are going to come out and meet her, so they're excited to have her in Central Texas. Adriana, thank you for that positive story to start our newscast. Okay.